today, we are going to tape a hockey stick the same way as the greatest goal scorer of all time, Alexander Ovechkin. Let's get started. The first thing we need is a hockey stick. The hockey stick we will be using is the Pro Blackout Light Stick from HockeyStickMan.com with the P28 curve. This one is a similar toe curve used by Ovechkin, but it is not exactly the same. For the purposes of this video though, this massive toe curve will do the job. The second thing we need is some one and a half inch white cloth tape. For this, we went with the Renfro brand hockey tape. The third thing we need is a pair of scissors to help trim up the toe after the tape job is complete. Or you can use it instead of ripping the tape if the tape is being difficult. Lastly, we need a puck to mark up the tape the same way Ovechkin does. Before we put this together, here are the key components to this tape job. First, you'll be starting near the middle of the blade and moving to the toe, covering the toe entirely. Second, he uses one and a half inch white cloth hockey tape. The third and final component is that he uses a puck to mark up the tape. Now, let's tape the blade like Alexander Ovechkin. First, find the middle of the blade and start on the backhand side. Place the tape about one inch from the top and wrap the tape straight down the front of the blade. On the way back up the backhand side, make sure to completely cover the starting point. Next, pull the tape at an angle on the forehand side, covering about one third of the first strip of tape. Now, go back up the backhand side and angle the tape to be covering about one eighth or a quarter inch of the tape. Continue this until you get to the part of the blade where the toe begins to taper. Once near the toe, unroll a bunch of the tape. Make sure it is more than enough to finish the toe. This is something Ovi does to make it easier to cover the entire toe with tape. With this excess tape, finish the toe and make sure to press down all edges around the toe. Next, we will need to remove the excess tape. To do this, pull out your trusty scissors and cut around the toe of the blade. The tape job looks amazing. However, it is missing a key piece to the tape job and that is marking up the tape with the puck. To do this, take the puck and by using the edge, mark up the last piece of tape on the toe in the top to bottom direction. Lastly, mark up the rest of the tape in a toe to heel direction, making sure the entire tape is covered. It is also fine to mark up past the end of the tape onto the blade. And that's it. Now you have what Ovechkin uses as his tape job. Go practice some one-timers. Let me know in the comments how much of the blade you actually tape. I know this one only uses about half, so I'm wondering if you do the entirety or if you just tape a little bit or if you use no tape at all. Do you think that there's an advantage to your style of tape? Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to let you know that every 10,000 subscribers to this channel, we will be giving away one full set of hockey gear from helmet to skates, gloves and stick and more. All you have to do to enter is comment on this video, like and subscribe to the channel. For every 10,000 subscribers we get, we will be drawing a new winner. So go to other videos and comment and like those videos as well to be entered for more chances to win this giveaway. Now, back to taping your stick like Ovi. The way Alexander Ovechkin tapes his stick is actually quite a popular one. As the game moves towards shooting off of the toe, more people are only taping really that mid to toe part of the blade. Some considerations are that if you aren't wanting to buy so many sticks, it might be better to cover the entire blade with tape as it does provide a small level of protection to your blade. But I think it's definitely worth a shot using if you use a one of those giant toe curves and you tend to shoot off the toe. If you enjoyed this video learning how to tape your stick like Alexander Ovechkin, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified of any time we drop new content. Until next time.